So guys, it's Miss Queen Crown. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is gonna be about my worst ex or my worst experience in a relationship. And you guys voted for this on my poll. So I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you what you want. Hmm? Yeah. So subscribe, share the video, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to watch. And you know, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. So a few years back, a few years back when I was younger, I was I was in grade nine, I think. Yes, I was grade nine. I dated this nigga, this guy. I dated this guy. We're just gonna call him Judas. Judas. We're not gonna, you know, get into his name or whatever. We're just gonna call him Judas. We we live we lived in the same hood or we live in the same hood, you know, and. I was pretty young, man, and you know we had the same mutual friends on split. Toch nisi after kasi like yo, it was like you know you just nearby, I'm just nearby, you know. Text the girl, that's it. So we had a thing, and he had a girlfriend. He had a girlfriend, yes, he had a girlfriend. Imagine yo girl a whole side piece. He had a girlfriend, and I didn't know, like I didn't know he had a girlfriend till you know. I saw him post a pic of him on Facebook. You know, at that time, Instagram was not all that. It was Facebook. And I'm like, it's a... What? So I'm asking him, like, nigga. It's what Jeta Cherry helped it. Like, Jeta Cherry, ma. She's busy with me. And who worked it? How do you want your bread buttered on both sides, my nigga? Like, who worked it? Who? And he's like, no. When you worry me, she's just... I it says my neta and JK must work full with Joe. You know how I feel about you. She's just there, you know. And every time I try to leave her, she tells me she's gonna kill herself. So I just keep her around. But you're the one that I really want. You know, and poor me, poor stupid me was like, okay man. She ain't all that. <laughs> So I was like, okay, ne. It's alright. As is what he said, most of us need to like. What's the big deal? On the storm, on storm, on the storm. So I was like, okay, I was pretty young, man. So me and this nigga had our thing. Hmm? We'd be doing the most. And I come this nigga. I'm not the only one. She's not the only one. We are a bunch, like. We are a bunch of girls, and I would also always get like text and threatening things from anonymous numbers and i'm like oh some some number texted me stay away from judas and you know i'd be like what what is going on man what is it and he's like can i just ignore probably someone that wanted me and i didn't i didn't want so i was like nah it's fine it's fine and then okay we had our thing it lasted for like two years but it was very toxic it was very toxic it didn't start well firstly it didn't start well I should have hit the hit the door as soon as I I I I saw that he had, has a girlfriend. So in the long run, he and his girlfriend broke up. And we started dating and like now Erin Stachno, Kama, yeah. We started dating. You know, this nigga was so upbreakened. He used to date other girls. He used to lie. He used to sleep around. Like this was just a whole thing and i was so naive man i was very naive i was very naive to see his true colors i was like uh, because me as a person i i choose to see the best of the qualities hey you can use yes i would see only what's good in you that's me that's just me that's a bad thing but that's me and you know it went on nigga nigga had a thing with my cousin and i was like what now you had me fucked up. You just here making me feel like I'm the problem. Or you are the one with the problem. Playing me like that. So I was like, okay, it's fine. I, I, I kept on forgiving a nigga. I was like, nah, it's fine. We're, we're young. We're growing up. I really thought he was going to be, you know, the one guy. The one guy you grow old with. Evangelist must know. You know, people have this thing that when you 
date from when you were little and you grow up together it's it's wow it's a fairy tale it's the best thing that could ever happen so we have that in our heads we're like ah and that some hot karak is my name but it's not if someone is being toxic to you if someone's energy is not good for you you gotta let the person go man you know i have a breaking point and when i reach it then it's a clock so me and this nigga went on and i was very obsessed he 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 used to leave me and i used to and he used to kiss and flirt with girls in front of me and i used to fight those girls and i used to be very violent and fucked up like sorry but i was messed up i was straight up messed up and i used to chase i was so obsessive man i don't know why i was so obsessive he was my first real boyfriend so i was like messed up man so i used to fight for him i used to do anything for him like whoa if he says come fast j like yo it was very toxic man but you know you grow through it you grow through it now my my take on men is like like a nigga has to love me more than i love him you have to love me more than i love you that's my take if it's not gonna be like that then i'm not for it because naturally women have a lot of love to give why can't you love me more than more than i love you huh then i know it's real that's for me man so yeah we're still growing we're still moving we're moving forward we're growing we're doing good things now we're not friends we don't talk we don't we don't yeah it's not the same it's never gonna be the same it's not the same we're just there you're just there i'm just there i'm over it he's probably over it like it's done man like another bitch another girl is gonna suffer so um you know when god takes you out of something it's for a reason so don't don't keep on going back to it so yeah here we are glowing and you know doing the most so don't sleep on yourself man don't sleep on yourself okay guys i hope you enjoyed my video i made it quite short it's a very long story so i just made it short i don't want to bore you hey you know bye guys subscribe like share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend